By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome at another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And this is a special episode. And as you can see, I am opening a starter deck box of fourth edition here. And I'm not going to open the whole box. I'm actually going to do that with 15 other players because I am at a sealed event where we are going to open a sealed fourth edition starter deck two Fallen Empire packs and two Chronicle packs. And we're going to do this for something called the Reborn League. And the idea of this league is that you do a series of events with sealed products and you use those products and those cards alone that you draw to build a deck with. Now, it, the interesting thing here is that you're allowed to trade the cards after the event with each other. So eventually uh, we are going to have um, events while well, you, by the way, see me open another <laughs> starter deck box. I mean, this, I mean, for me, this is pretty crazy. I've actually never opened a starter deck box of um, fourth edition before. Uh, like I said, I'm going to pass this to the players. I won't be opening all the starter uh, decks. Unfortunately, I would have loved to. Um, but like I said, so what you do after each event is you keep the cards and you can trade it with each other to kind of build your optimal deck. And it's a very limited card pool because you're only allowed to use the cards that you open in these Reborn League uh, events. So very exciting stuff. So I'm just going to fast forward this towards... Uh, oh, here we, here we go. Here we have the actual uh, box of Fallen Empires. Uh, still pretty cool. And now let's see, I'm opening it up here. So every player gets two booster packs of uh, Fallen Empire. And in this video, I'm going to show you uh, my opening of the sealed product. So of the starter deck of fourth edition of the two Fallen Empire packs and also the two Chronicle packs. So I'm just gonna fast forward this, put a little bit of music behind it until we're at the moment where I'm going to open the fourth edition starter deck. And there we finally are at the point where I've managed to open my starter deck. Man, that was difficult because that uh, little golden ribbon wasn't really working. And look at this, I'm opening the pack and I actually do not see the golden ribbon. Some players did. We opened two boxes and one box did have the uh, golden ribbon on the inside. And some of us didn't and I'm one of those players. And look at what I'm doing. I'm trying to use, trying to open it. Um, by the sides of the pack, I guess that's the best, but you don't want to damage the cards as well. And this took a little while as well, so we're just going back to the music, I guess, to the point where I've actually opened this starter deck. And I did it. I managed to open up the inner seal. Yes. As you can see, I even got some help. I mean, it's pretty pathetic, but hey, I've got it open and I'm ready to check out the cards. I believe we first have some lands here and the lands are followed up by three rares. And then we've got a rule book and then we have some uncommons and commons. And those three rares are going to be very important. So 
keep our fingers crossed. I'm hoping for a fatty, of course, Shivan Dragon Mom OT Jin. Look at this, I've got a Greed. That's actually a great card because it can give you some card draw. So it's very useful, great pull. Tempest Efreet, oh man, that's not great because it's a card for anti, so I'm not even gonna use it here. I cannot use it in this sealed event. Any living artifact, not the best as well. There we see the rule book. And I could already see that first uncommon there. That's the Red Ward, so an enchant creature protection from red. Here we have a tunnel to destroy a wall, and that can actually be useful in this sealed event. I do expect to see some walls. And it says bury, so the wall cannot regenerate. And look at this, this is a great pull, two of them. Killer Bees is fantastic, Air Elemental is fantastic. So I'm definitely gonna use these in my sealed deck. There's a Goblin Balloon Brigade, not too bad. And also a good pull, I think Spirit Link can take care of a creature. There's the Earth and Troll. So, so far the uncommons are not too bad. And there's the Cave People and the Diabolic Machine. So it's a 4-4, I mean it's 7, I know, but I think it's useful, it, got, it has regeneration. And there's the Bird Maiden. So we, we're in the commons now, Pearl Unicorn, Merc Dwellers, Dirkwood Boars, I think it's gonna be useful, 4-4 body. Energy Tap, not so. Marsh Gas, Shadowed in Dryads, could be useful. Pearl Unicorn, uh, sorry, Merfolk of the Pearl Trident, sorry, <laughs> a COP Red here, that could be useful against those Fireballs, Wall of Spears, Drudge Skeletons, Script Sprites, Unstable Mutation, very useful I think, Shatter, useful as well, Unholy Strength, and as you can see it doesn't have the Pentagram, it's taken away in the 4th edition version, and there's a lot of Elves, definitely gonna play that one, so it looks like I'm gonna play green and blue and i have to choose what third color i'm going to splash here and there's a jump a giant strength and there's the banalish hero the lost soul the flood that could be useful a timmy yes prodigal sorcerer definitely gonna play that one and we've got a seeker here and the last card is a frozen shade and of course this is just a starter deck so i have the um the two fallen empire booster packs and the chronicle boosters here still to open um and i can use them in my sealed deck so let's see what other cards i can pull and i can use in my deck so i'm kind of stuck on a color is blue and green at the moment so i guess i'm hoping for maybe some um i don't know dalit stuff i mean there's not really anything useful in blue for fallen empires i think let's have a look i'm getting the throw wizard and I'm getting the Feral, what's it called again? The Feral Priest there for my two uncommons. But look at that, I've got the Tally, so I can use an Armor Throw. I've got the Ecation Scout. Um, I believe it's the Mercy. And um, it puts net counters on a creature that's a blue card, so it can tap a creature. It's not too bad, it's kind of a way of removal, I guess. I mean, you've got to realize that everybody is opening the same amount of cards, so it could be useful. In this uh, in this particular sealed event so this is my first fallen empire booster pack going to open the second one so it starts with the two uncommons there are no rares in this set the you have uncommon threes so they're pretty close to being a rare and let's have a look here Ooh, and this is actually good elvish farmer that's uh, one of the most expensive cards in Fallen Empire, and it's a pretty good one, and that's also a nice one. The um, Ecasian, I forgot the name, but it's a 2-4 banding, and it's really a powerhouse, I think. Uh, and look at that, a Javaliers. Did you see that card? That's also gonna be very useful, because it comes into play with a counter, and you can remove that counter to deal one damage. So actually, this was a really, really good booster pack. For Fallen Empire, so this is great. Definitely gonna play with the Elvish Farmer, maybe also with the Occasion Javelier, because that's a way to remove creatures. And now we're going to Chronicles, and in Chronicles, I'm really hoping to hit the Urnum Jin. I mean, that's a 4 5 powerhouse because I already have the uh, Killer Beast. I'm kind of committed to green here, and also with the Elvish Farmer. So, really hoping to just hit some good green cards here. Let's see what I can do. Petra Sphinx, okay. Um, 
Yeah, that's not really the card I'm hoping for. And we've got a Tangle Maggot here. Uh, Wall of Heat. I mean, Petra Sphinx is a cool card, don't get me wrong, but it's not very useful here. Remove Soul. Now, this could be a good card to play. Only one blue and one to cast, so it could be useful. Torment's Crypt, not really great, I think, here in uh, Sealed. We've got the nice big sword, the He-Man sword. And we've got the Dragonfly, that could be useful, actually. And we've got the Slug, Giant Slug. And we've got the Fish Liver Oil, maybe a sideboard card. And we've got the Ogress. And the Divine Offering, that actually could be useful. Because there are some artifacts uh, here that people are probably going to play with. So the Divine Offering um, can be useful. Taking care of an artifact and actually giving me some life in the process. And I'm about to open that second pack. Um, not a lot in that first pack, I have to be honest. Still looking for that Urn and Jin. Look at that, a Banshee. What a cool card. Not sure if I'm going to play it, but it's it's a way to deal damage, I guess. But that Dance of Many looks very interesting. Fountain of Youth here. And I can combine actually with that Gasban Ogre. I think I'm going to play both of them. Because Gasban Ogre is a 2 2 for 1. And if you don't have the most life, it's going to go to your opponent. But with that Fountain of Youth, maybe that's some kind of nice combo there. Uh, synergy, I should say. And there's a Wall of Vapor. A 2 2 Vanilla here. Argovian Pixies, could be useful protection from artifacts, and a Goblins of the Flark. I didn't uh, pull a Goblin Grenade from the Fallen Empires, so I don't think that Goblin is going to go anywhere near my sealed deck. So this was it for the actual opening of the sealed product, so the opening of the 4th edition starter deck, and um, the two Fallen Empire booster packs, and two Chronicles booster packs. Now I'm actually going to uh, create my deck, so if you find it interesting, stick around and you can see how I make my choices. I'm going to kind of uh, talk you through that. And if not, thank you for watching so far. Let me know what you think of my pools, uh, which one you would use in a sealed event and which one you wouldn't. So I'm now going to continue with, uh, with sorting my cards and making my decisions for my sealed deck. So the first thing I always do is just put everything in, in color and that's kind of what I've done here. So I've made a pile of green cards, or black cards, or blue cards, white cards, red cards and the artifact cards. And what you have to realize is when you're playing sealed, what's really important is you need to have a few bombs, so big creatures. A 4-4 flyer in, in, in sealed with these sets is definitely a bomb. Even a 3-3 flyer can be a bomb. Another thing that you're looking for is ways to remove things from the game and also uh, mechanics such as regenerate can be very powerful um, because you know there's hardly any way to work around that maybe your opponent has a disintegrate I mean but that's the worst thing that he can actually have against regeneration and and there are not um, you're not going to see a lot of uh, swords to plows here so, I mean there's only that fourth edition starter deck so maybe a few players pulled that but not many and what you see now I'm actually kind of looking at all the creatures because the creatures are going to be very decisive to kind of what kind of um, colors you want to play because your deck is going to mainly consist out of creatures and you have to win with creature damage most likely uh, unless you're really lucky and you've pulled like uh, a few fireballs and a few disintegrates so I'm just putting um, sorting the creatures per color and just looking at okay what are the best creatures here and I'm especially looking at flying creatures or creatures with regenerate or creatures that have some kind of special ability I mean that's got to be decisive here and I'm now looking at blue blue is never very strong creature based but I have that air elemental and I also have that protocol sorcerer that I pulled so I think based on those two cards I definitely have to play with blue and also protocol sorcerer is very powerful because there are a lot of smaller creatures in uh, in this event, in this series that are being opened. I mean, Fallen Empire is full of them. You have a lot of 1-1s in 4th edition as well in the common slots. So I feel that Particle Sorcerer can be a great way to remove creatures in this, uh, in this event. So I'm definitely going to play with my Particle Sorcerer here. So blue seems to be 
um, a choice and I'm looking at my white color and white look kind of okay because of that uh, phalanx at 2-4 banding creature you might think okay a 2 4, four 5 mana that's not so powerful but you have to understand it's one white and four so it's easy to kind of play in a deck where you're playing with three or maybe even four colors and the fact that it is banding means that you can pretty much block everything with it because you can divide the damage and you can make a huge band and that means that once it's on the table you have some solid defense and if necessary you can attack with it as well so I'm definitely considering white and let's see what I'm doing now I'm looking again at the artifacts pulling them aside and I'm looking at red and seeing, okay, what creatures would I play in red? I think I've decided to go with green and blue because green, I have the killer bees um, and I have Llanowar Elves for ramp and I have the Elvish Farmer from Fallen Empires. So I'm now just deciding, am I going to play with red or am I going to play with white? Because here I'm looking at my green creatures and look at that, I also have the Dirkwood Boars, which is a, a powerhouse here. It's a 4-4 creature. Again, it's only one green, so the same reason for the Phalanx, it's only one white. They're really easy to play in a deck with, where you play with multiple colors. And remember, you don't have dual lands or you don't have City of Brasses, so you just have to work with basic lands here. And what I noticed as well, looking at my green creatures, I have a lot of 1-drops. So maybe I can create some early um, pressure here on my opponent. There's that Phalanx again, Vanellish Hero. And the Ecation Javelier is very useful because it comes into play with a Javelier counter and you can deal one damage to any target. So it's removal, so it's pretty powerful. So it looks like I'm actually going with the colors blue, white and green. I think that maybe I should have played red looking back at it because I have the Uthan Troll and I also have a Fisher, I believe, in the instant slot. Um, but it looks like these are the choices that I'm making. Doesn't look too bad actually for a sealed deck. So I've got a lot of 1 1 creatures, but I also have some bombs in the deck. I've got my Dirkwood Boars, I've got my Killer Bees, and I've got my Air Elemental, and of course I have my Elvish Farmer to maybe create some tokens and some lives, who knows, and also that Gaspan Ogre the 2-2. And look at that, so now I'm looking at my other spells, and I've got the Dance of Manu, Remove Soul, and Unstable Mutation and Flood, and this is actually looking really strong when I'm now looking at blue again, that Unstable Mutation, If can you imagine being able to put that on your Air Elemental, you've got a 7-7 Flyer, that's, that's really a huge problem and a killer key for my opponent, and also the Dance of Manu can be great. White, I seem to have a Spirit Link. And I'm now putting in an Artifact card, not sure why, but that's the uh, Fountain of Youth. And I actually think I'm gonna play the Fountain. And the reason is that um, you usually get a lot of early damage. And that Fountain of Youth can compensate for that. And another reason is that I wanna play with the Gasband Ogre. And that's a 2-2 creature, but you lose that creature if you don't have the highest life total, then it goes to your opponent, so it's a risky card to play with. And also I think, um, looking at my artifact creatures now, so I'm not playing with the Wall of Spears, but I am playing with the Yoshin Soldier, and it's only 3 mana, it's a 1-4 Vigilance. So I think that's very powerful. And this is actually the deck that I am going to play with in this uh, sealed event. Unfortunately, because uh, I have some games on stream and I'm going to uh, show them on this channel as well. So keep an eye on the channel um, to see that. Unfortunately, I haven't played on stream myself. So you cannot see this deck in action. I'm really sorry. But there were just so many great decks and great matchups um, that we've put other players on the stream. If you'd like to see these uh, sealed decks in action, keep an eye on the channel because uh, the games are going... Uh, to follow up pretty quickly. As you can see now, I'm actually counting because we're playing with 14, uh, 40 cards in total, 17 lands and um, 23 other um, spells and permanents. So I'm actually now making my selection. And I'm first looking at the creatures. I usually play 
around um, 16 up to 17 creatures so a lot of creatures and that's because you have to win with uh, creature damage i'm sure other players make different decisions um, i'm now sorting them by the way on uh, mana cost to kind of see um, to check out the curve of my deck and you can see that the elvish farmer and the argovian pixie so far are the only two drops and i've got that huge seven drop that four four diabolic machine that usually would be a horrendous card but in limited in this event it's actually a really really good card and i'm definitely going to play with it so now i have to make a decision what cards i want to cut and it looks like those three drops are probably going to keep those five drops i'm definitely going to keep I'm definitely going to keep my Diabolic Machine, so you can see I really have to cut into the one drops here. I'm sh pretty sure I want to keep the Talit because it works so well with the Elvish Farmer. I also want to keep the Gasband Ogre and the Lanawar Elves. Script Sprites is great evasion, so I guess I should maybe keep that as well. I've got the Ecation Javelier. I'm definitely keeping that one because it's removal. And um, like I was saying earlier, actually, sorry for, the, for that, um, uh, like I was saying, unfortunately, I, I don't have my deck playing on the stream, um, but I do have other really, really cool games with similar decks. I can tell you there's a lot of crazy stuff going on here. If you'd like to see those games, keep an eye on the channel because I'll be trying to post a game each week. And as I said at the start of this video, this is part of the Reborn League. If you would like to know more of the Reborn League, you can check out the description below where I will post a link to the website the RagingBullSeries.com and on that website there is information about this league. And as you can see I'm cutting the cards here, I'm taking away the Argovian Pixies and I'm counting again. Maybe you recognize this from when you're playing Sealed yourself. You start off with a complete random pile of cards thinking you have absolute, absolutely nothing absolute trash and then you're slowly looking at your cards again and again and again and you're reconsidering look at that i'm actually putting in the thorn tally i think that's a good decision it's uh, two green and one and it also works with spore counters and uh, you can take three of those counters off and then you can do one damage to any target and you only get one counter per turn by the way so counting again so I'm constantly counting my cards Trying to find and decide what cards I am going to play and what cards I'm not going to play. Uh, but as I was saying, you can go to RagingBullSeries.com and you can find more information about the Reborn League. I, you can actually see when we're playing again. So for the next event, we're celebrating the 25 years of Fallen Empire. So we'll be opening Fallen Empire boosters. Um, and we'll be using those cards to continue building on our decks actually. And after this event, uh, the sealed event, uh, we get to uh, trade with these cards. So we can actually work on our deck and make it better. And what I'm doing right now, the dice are kind of showing how many uh, cards I have of what color. So the five uh, dice is, I believe, uh, the white count so i've got five white cards i've got six blue cards and i've got eight green cards and i use that to kind of decide my mana base because i'm playing with 17 mana so i gotta decide how to divide the basic lands well this is it for now if you'd like to see uh, decks like this in action keep an eye on the channel because like i said before i will be posting um, matches here on youtube hopefully once a week Thank you for watching uh, the opening and the deck building with me. Let me know what you think of my decisions. And thank you for watching Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And see you next time. <laughs>